Make sure you're sitting comfortably because there is a lot to update you about. Murillo, potentially on the move. Sorry, the real story behind it. We've got Stephen Reed with the See You Next Tuesday. We've got two keepers linked with Forest injury updates and Forest tag teaming with a Midlands rival. Welcome to your very long Forest News. Good morning, good evening, or good night. Hope you guys are doing well, and welcome to your latest Forest news. Coming up, we got so much to tell you about. I'm not even going to bother highlighting it. I already have in the intro. But before we get started, in Matt SB style, make sure you subscribe to him. Let's do a little like target today. Let's spice it up. Seeing that we're going to lead on the Murillo story shortly. Let's see if we can get this video to 440 likes, just like Murillo's shirt. So take a second now, hit that like button. If you see it below 440, press it now. If you see it above 440, still press it. And make sure you're subscribed as well. And now, don't forget, we've got this signed, framed Rainer shirt. Yes, remember him. Team of the Week Rainer, who was outstanding for the USA in the international break, but still hasn't started a game for Forest. You can win that shirt now. But, just as importantly, an Insta prize win of a Felipe signed shirt there for you as well. From Football Prizes, the link's in the description. There's so much to talk about. Let's jump into it. All right, so let's kick this one off with the Sari story. As we broke to you, I think, two days ago, there was this report going around that Sari was in and Nuno was out, but Sari had rejected Forrest. And we told you we'd had no confirmation on it or anything like that. But fear not, my lovely viewers. We've spoken to our sources and we can categorically confirm that this is 100% fake news. Sari has not been approached by Nottingham Forest. Forest are sticking with Nuno currently. There's no issues, no nothing. And we can put that one to bed. And I said in that video, this would be the dumbest thing Forrest could do. And luckily, yes, Forrest have done some dumb things this season. But this is not one of them. So, let's bin that one off. Chuck it to one side. By the way, I read through all your comments. I thought a lot of them were very interesting on the thoughts pro and against this one. But get talking to me in the comments now. Let me know what you think about this. As I said to you, throughout the international break, you're always going to get these journalists trying to fill column in and no matter how reputable they are they still come up with some bs so to confirm nuno is not being replaced and definitely sorry was not approached okay let's move on to the next story this is going to be a lot of news today and this is on murillo now murillo has signed up with a new agency um, and this is extremely, extremely worrying for me. Why? Because it gives me flashbacks of Brennan Johnson when Brennan Johnson signed up with a new agent just before he left Nottingham Forest. It's usually the sign of things to come. The agency he's signed up with is called Forward Team. Never heard of them, but they are a Portuguese outfit from what I can see. They've got um, kind of a bit of exposure on Instagram. They've announced it as well that Murillo has signed for them. And this is probably the beginning of the end. If you look historically, as I mentioned, Brennan Johnson, but there are plenty of other players who, when they are ready to move or when they feel that the hype around him is at a good time, then they change their agent because they're promised they'll get connections and links to the kind of clubs they want. We've already told you that Liverpool are extremely interested. There's been links to Arsenal for him, as well as Barcelona, PSG. Look, we all know at some point Marilla's going to go. But I'm hoping still, and this is maybe the fan in me rather than the, uh, I can not call me a reporter because I ain't, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just hoping there's one more season still left for Forrest at Murillo, where maybe Forrest can stay up, kick on, and convince Murillo that this project is good enough for him. Now, I always say I don't want a player who thinks they are bigger than the club at all. And I've seen no signs of that from Murillo on the way he plays off the field or anything like that. He's still very young. But if his head is going to be turned, I'd rather it didn't get turned now and got turned in the summer. We've got nine important games coming up. He needs to be fully focused on those nine games. Perform, perform, perform. And then whatever happens, we'll deal with in the summer. Now, the plus side to this is that if he is going to move, 
then he is going to need to showcase himself even more in the Premier League. Best stage to showcase yourself on. So we could see better and better performances. And that will work in Forrest's favour. Because the better he performs, the more zeros it adds at the end of the paycheck and the more money Forrest will get for him. But are you guys ready to say goodbye to Murillo? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, that's two stories down, another one to go. And this one is on goalkeepers. Ah, Forrest are getting hit with FFP. Forrest are being told that they're going to break PSR again this season. Do Forrest care? Absolutely not. As we are now linked with two goalkeepers, Butland and Bento. Bento from Atletico, not the Madrid Atletico, and Atletico in Brazil. And Butland, currently at Rangers, a really good keeper who's coming back into good form. However, both of them could be quite expensive. Butland, for example, will cost Forrest £15 million. Now, this might be the only good thing that Ross Wilson has done for Forrest or may ever well do. I'm not convinced by Ross Wilson. But as you guys know, he came from Rangers. And it will be him negotiating this for Butland to come in. But the problem with this is, if let's say we get Butland or Bento, whoever the goalkeeper is going to be, Vlacodemus, Turner, Hennessy's still on the books. You've now got Cells on the books. You've got one of these on the books. That's five goalkeepers five now the talk is vlacodemus is gone in the summer and potentially turner will be as well and it sells good enough to lead the line for next season now i've been convinced with cells but not excited by cells would be my stance on him so far this season i think he does a lot of things very well i think most of the games i don't notice him which i quite like but i would like to see him come off his line a bit more um, I think his kicking's been quite good, but I'm not convinced as such that he's that magic dust in goal that's the Samba or, you know, a Crosley in my era or in the older generation, a Shilton. Do we need to go to that level? Probably not. I think anything above an upgrade on Matt Turner is okay. But I like Butland. I'm a big fan of Butland. We were linked to him in January. Again, talking about the same price tag as well, around the 15 million. I thought Forrest would have got it done then. And the talk is that Butland wants to move back down to the Premier League. So a move for him will be in imminent in the summer. But there are two other clubs interested in him. Again, with Forrest PSR issues, we probably won't see any players coming in until past the 1st of July. But it still looks like a goalkeeper is high on the agenda in the comments let me know are you happy with cells to continue on as the number one next season or do you like butland or is bento one that takes your fancy now i don't know too much about him so i can't really put too many comments on him but if you guys have seen him play does he interest you let me know Alrighty then, let's move on to our next story, and it's about our boy Stephen Reed, who we will see next see you next Tuesday, if you know what I mean. And this is to do with the aftermath of, math of the Liverpool match. And Tierney, we all remember him, Mr. Doesn't Know the Rules of Football, has put in his match report. Now Forrest have been fined £75,000 off the back of this. And on top of that, Stephen Reid has been fined £5,000 and a two-match touchline ban. Let me get my words out. But it's what was said that I, I just found, I just love Stephen Reid more. I've always liked Stephen Reid. Um, but <laughs> let's, let me read this and I will, for the kids watching, I will use see you next Tuesday um, in there. But it was said three times to the referee. He continued... <laughs> I just, it's just too funny. It's too funny. One of those who approached me, says Tyranny, was Stephen Reed, a coach at Nottingham Forest. By the way, this ref spelt Forest with a double R. And people wonder why he doesn't know the rules of football when he can't even spell a basic English word like Forest with a single R. It's beyond belief how bad and corrupt these refs are and this Premier League is. But that's how a whole other sideshow. He asked me about a decision and I said to him, I'll speak to him inside and not outside on the field of play. He then continued to question me and I repeated that I would speak to him inside. He then said, it's the same every week you see you next Tuesday. 
I showed him the red card and he said, I worked with you effing lot every effing week last season. It's the same every effing week you see you next Tuesday. He then continued to use the word F and called me a see you next Tuesday at least once on one more occasion. And in brackets, making that a minimum of three in total as we were making our way off the field. How do you guys feel about that? Look, do you feel that Stephen Reid and the rest of the management shouldn't have lost their heads or do you find it quite endearing? The bottom line is it's going to be, it's going to hit us in the pocket. 75k to Forrest, as I said, 5k to Stephen Reid and a two match touchline ban. But that's not where it ends because as I said to you at the start of the video, Forrest are now potentially hooking up with Leicester City. And that's all to do with the fact that these clubs and our clubs are getting sick and tired of this biasness, biasness that the Premier League has against the other 14 or 15 in the case of Leicester, if you include them in this. And Forrest are looking to take a strong stance. We saw Leicester coming out and basically blitzing the Premier League in their statement after they were called up for their breach or alleged breach of PSR. And now Forrest are potentially teaming up with them. And I've got to say I quite like this because if Forrest and Leicester can recruit the other 14 teams, so if you're a fan of one of the other 14 teams, Start putting pressure on your club. If we don't start speaking out about this corruption, this cartel six, this favoritism in the Premier League that is going on right now, it's only going to get worse and worse. And if these teams can finally see the light and band together, they have more power in the voting than the cartel six alone. If the 14, look in any, any vote that goes through on the Premier League, you need 14 votes for it to go through. If six abstain or six vote in the negative, it doesn't matter, it pushes through. So if the 14 can unite as one block and get the stuff to start favoring us over the sky six, then things will slowly start to improve. Now, does this put a rod on, on, up against us? Does this put a target on our back for the Premier League to come down even stronger on Forest or other things? We have our PSR appeal coming through soon. Who knows? But if you don't take a stance, if you don't take some pain, you will never, ever be able to get any improvements going forward. So it is a risky strategy, but I think it's one well worth doing for Forrest. But you guys may disagree. Let me know in the comments down below. Just a quick reminder, we're aiming for 440 likes on this video. So if you haven't already, if you forgot to hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new. And let's move on to our final story because there is a football match on the horizon and that's Forest against Crystal Palace and this as I knock over God knows what this is going to be a big one Forrest have to get at least a point out of this and hope that Spurs don't do a Spurs against Luton to get themselves back out of the bottom three and I'm hoping against hope that we can do more than draw against Palace and can beat them and there should be some injury boosts coming up in Nuno's presser now I can't say this with any certainty yet but the reports I'm hearing is that Chris Wood should be fit for this game. Either Tavares or Einar is expected to be somewhere near the starting team. Tuffalo's been all right at left back, but definitely I feel ever since, I can't believe I'm saying this, Nuno Tavares has been out of the team. We've lost that attacking ability down the left-hand side because I think him and Callum, Hubs Callum Hudson-Odoi had paired up really well. And we saw Forrest getting some real good change from that side. So I'm hoping Tavares is close. If not, Einar could come in at left back and I think we've missed him as well. It's been ages since we've been seen him play for Nottingham Forest. So with those three coming back, that's a good, good boost for Forest. Obviously, Taiwo will still be out, but plenty of other players could potentially have the opportunity to make a mark. Will Reyna get given an opportunity to start in this game. With the likelihood that Origi's loan deal won't be made into a permanent, I think we may start to see Origi fading out into the background when it comes to selection in the first team. Be that Alanga coming back in on the right-hand side, or be that Reina coming in and being given a chance now, especially after his international performances. Things could look very interesting this weekend. If it was your choice, 
Which two of the three would you start between Alanga, Callum Hudson-Odoi and, um, and Reyna? Or maybe Origi. Maybe some of you want to go with him. We will have a match preview coming up this afternoon for you with our mate D from Back of the Nest. So make sure you check that out shortly. And that brings you up to date with a lot of Forest news. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And again, a quick reminder, if you haven't hit that like button, hit it now, 440, magic number. That's all we're going to go for. Go grab your Rainer tickets if you want it. I'll leave you the D video if you're watching this later on, so you can click it on the end screen, and the link for this will be there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Come on, you Reds.